Chiche. Hi. Can you do me a favor? I don't do favors for peasants. That's overly harsh. I, I don't think I'm a peasant. You are compared to me. Okay, but everyone's a peasant compared to the literal third most powerful person in the realm. So why are you confused that I'm calling you a peasant? Look, could you just, like, ask Khan to come over here and then battle me? That sounds like a job for a peasant. No, because you'll enjoy the battle, so you get something out of this. And that way he'll definitely come over, because, you know, as, as, as you've established, peasants can't refuse. Hippahari! Yeah? Ask Khan to come over here! Yes, my princess! Khan Yeah? Go talk to Chi Chi! Okay? Seems like a lot of needless extra steps. <laughs> ha My most worthy opponent! Welcome! Chi Chi, your voice sounds different. No! Chi Chi is not part of this! Twas a ruse, you see! Alright, then I'm walking away. No! You must battle me for that is also Chi Chi's wish! Okay. We're gonna play a game of Kushala Teostra Camellios. I take it you, of course, know the rules. Yes. Excellent. All right. Count us down, Chi Chi. That seems unfair. Three, two, one. Camellios. You're supposed to say it at the same Te time Teos as me. Teostra. You're supposed to say it at the same time as me. You said it later, which is... I, I expected a go. No, why would I, why would I say go? Right, after one. All right, do it. Redo. After one. Three, two, one. Teostra. Camellios. All right, I win. Why did we just swap? All right, fine. It's best out of three. <laughs> well, because let's, we let's both go. understand each other. <laughs> let's go. Three, two, one. Kushala. Okay, all right, okay, okay. Three, two, one. Chameleos. Ah! <laughs> I thought I was so good at Chameleos, Kushala, Teostra. Maybe you were once upon a time. All right, JJ, post quest, be useful. Okay, as long as I can stop counting down from three. <laughs> I can count down from ten if you want, but it'd make this intro much longer. <laughs> Oh? When you open your little mappy, right? Uh huh. And you can see the little symbols. There's Basil prowling around in two, looking for some trouble. What a little prankster. Sonoga yelling at a, a, at a lantern bug over in 12. You're having a great time. And then we see Mr. Camellios being observed dryly by a blast toad. When Camellios, right, as part of his natural uh -huh. existing routine, goes invisible. His icon blips off the map for the duration he's invisible, and then blips back in when he when he comes back. That makes sense. I guess otherwise you could just yeah. track him from your map. But how cool is that? It's like oh, such a nice little That's touch. That's nice. Such a nice little touch. <laughs> Everyone knows Camellios's niece is a. It's a fantastic little lizard. I was worried about where you were going with that, but that's acceptable. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a professional swerver outside of the awful thing I just accidentally said. As long as as long as we can fix it, then it's okay. They call me a verbal drifter. I don't know if I like that either. <laughs> because I can make really good tire screeching sounds with my mouth. Okay. You gonna do it? No. Oh! <laughs> Camellios Ultra Edition! It, he rose. Okay, fine, I will do it. Okay, so cars drive along. It's about to turn around the corner and... See? How realistic was that? I, I don't know. I think I went deaf for a moment. <laughs> well, that's because it was such an intense, good, good sound, you know. Oh, that uh, does a lot of damage for something that also applies venom. Yeah, I fell off a cliff. Okay, I'm not enjoying this perpetual poison that's... I'm I think it's called... I think with. you're supposed to dodge. Which I understand why you wouldn't. I don't believe in dodging. Oh, he's over there now? Wow, who would have seen yeah. that coming? Not us, because it's Camellios. He was in, because he was invisible, yeah. It, it makes it really hard to see him. He's also a very big boy, Camellios. He's very jumpy as well. I'm struggling to stay near He's him. also vaguely jeg... jeg... jeng... He's, he's also wearing vaguely jegging. jenga. So he's, we vaguely, just... <laughs> he's vaguely jenga. If we just pull off different parts... Yeah, we just need to pull out the correct little part of him and the rest should come tumbling down. Oh, boy. Oh, you've got charge blades. Yeah, I brought a charge blade. I'm going back and forth a bit. You literally just beat the mist out I'm, of him. I'm uh, not liking my current health. You deflated him like a disappointed child on his birthday when no presents arrived because nobody loves him. When the child is full of mist. Yes, you deem... 
Which explains why nobody loves him. Because nobody likes a misty child. No, nobody likes a misty child. Nobody likes it when you're when you're just hanging out with someone and they just start expelling mist everywhere. <laughs> it's so, so weird, like not like crazy or dangerous, but profoundly weird thing for someone to do near you. Just ah, and the visibility gets less and less. Stop burping at me. Like I can't think of a. a a weirder yet more harmless thing that could happen. Stinkless farts that never stop. Why is that where you go? So it's just just the sound. I mean, I, I answered what your request was for. I was going to do something normal, like knives start growing out of your arm. That is definitely a dangerous and concerning thing. Why did your dog just appear next to me? I didn't give permission for that. Because I was riding it, and then I jumped, and then I got off of it. Oh, okay. Well, I did give permission for that, so that's fair enough. Then. Oh my god, I would like not to be poisoned anymore, please. Well, my current evaluation of the situation is that he just isn't stopping. I was about to be like, God, imagine if an actual animal could just spray. But there is actually, I believe, a snake that uh, has essentially venom cannons and they spray it. You can also argue that that's essentially what a skunk does, just less viciously dangerous. Deadly, deadly venom range is is much more concerning than smell. A lot of animals fire a lot of weird things out of their bodies. I don't like that he just pulled me to the ground with his tongue, then invisibly slammed me while I was still struggling to Well, if he invisibly slammed you, it shouldn't have hurt, because the pain was also invisible. Well, the pain may have been invisible, but the results were not. Is his sound muffled while he's invisible, or am I just imagining that? That's how they do invisibility these days. But these days, these newfangled... Back in my day, you might be invisible, but everyone heard your footsteps, not like these newfangled... Angled, silent invisibility. It was just more interesting this way. Yeah, there we go. It, it's a cobra. A Mozambique spitting cobra. But that's not the weirdest thing. Okay, what's the weirdest thing? Well, one of the weirdest things is a beetle that sprays acid. So that's unfortunate. What about black holes? It's cl Sorry, black holes? Yeah, you said that was one of the weirdest things. I think a black hole is weirder. I mean, yes. I'm currently kicking an ant and it just does not care. I've kicked this ant three times and it's just carried on walking. That's pretty weird. I've kicked this ant four times. I kicked this ant five times. Six times. You ever thought maybe your kicks just aren't as strong as you think they are? I kicked this ant six times and it just left. I think you need better kicks. I feel so emasculated right now. You need to work on your kicks. It sounds like they're a bit ineffective. Who kicks a bug six times and the bug doesn't care? Who kicks a bug six times? And the, the weirdest, the weirdest spray is the lizard that squirts streams of blood from its eye. That's probably the weirdest one. Yeah, that, I mean, that feels like it's not good for the lizard either. <laughs> like, imagine! Oh, look at this little lizard! Oh, what the fuck! If there was anything I could uh, adopt for, for humans, I think eye, eye blood sprays is definitely the, the play here. I think that's, n that's the far opposite of something that you want to have for humans. There's a caterpillar that uh, sprays essentially what looks like silly string, but it's incredibly sticky adhesive. Oh just... yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's a that's pretty a classic. good one. <laughs> that's classic. the one I would get for humans. Yeah, that's that's what you get for humans. I mean, you don't need glue anymore if humans can just spray adhesive at will. Yeah, but I feel like saving on glue isn't like the biggest advantage as a species. It's not like we have a massive need for glue. Well, it's not just glue. All it's, it's tape. Like, just think of the amount of just every uh, so many things would be easier if we could just create adhesive at will. Look, I don't know what Will has got to do with this, but we could use the adhesive on more than just him. Look, I'm not in charge of Will. You're literally you 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 cannot you have to make sure if you're called Will, you cannot join the army. Yeah, probably not a good idea. It's a terrible idea. You're just going to get shot so quickly by your allies and by the enemy. Just everyone really. Yeah, and by the enemy actually. It's just really bad. Just never stand in the middle, I think, is the main thing. Is this the first time he's gone... I think so. Big big boy mode? Oh, my God. So he also doesn't look like he's that big boy mode, because he's not glowing orange like he should be. What is happening? Oh, his big rain! I'd forgotten how good so Risen Camellios is! Look just at a, that! Just way too much poison. Just so much poison. It is a lot of poison. Like, how does he fit all that poison inside of him? He should be much harder to track down. Like, imagine if he, he went full invisible to swap zones. So you couldn't see him on the map, and you obviously couldn't see him with your eyes. So you just had to actually find him again. Probably be annoying, but at the same time, it'd be thematically fun. I just wish that paintballs in old games, and also that if they brought them back to new games, would just literally leave a splotch on his invisible body. Oh, I'm so dumb! 
You are a little bit, uh, but it's okay. Ah, oh, his attack was so delayed that strong arm hard ran out before it actually detonated. It almost one-shot me, put me on a percent of health while envenomated, so I had very little time. I wirefalled and caught up with one of the poison balls that was heading away from him and just landed on it and died. Mm -hmm. He's taking a moment to eat some bugs! I mean, what else is he going to do when we're just hanging yeah, out? Yeah, but that just feels like he's rubbing salt into the wound. I don't think he's got salt. He doesn't seem like much of a salt. Oh, he actually swallowed his throat and vibrated. He swallowed his throat. Yeah. He swallowed his own throat. He's got flashed. Was that you or a cat? That was a cat. It was my cat, so I'm still taking credit for it. Yeah, I mean, it was a well-timed cat flash. That's my favorite type of flash. Stop burping at me, sir. Don't pretend you don't love it. Really, though? Oh, he's, he's mad again. Well, I mean, I hit him about as hard as he hit me, except for the part where it almost killed me. I disagree with that sentiment. Well, then maybe you should uh, hit a martyr. Because a hunter has 200 health, so even if he did, like, 190 and almost killed you, 190 damage to him is nothing. But, like, 190 damage to you is about 90% of your health, and you true. definitely didn't do 90% of his health. So whether we talk actual numbers or relative percentage, you strong. definitely did. <laughs> Oh, sorry, why isn't he dead I mean, then? I definitely I definitely did more actual damage if we're talking actual numbers. My god, please stop attacking me so I can antidote. I mean, I don't think he wants you to antidote. That's kind of the whole point of his lizard body. I know he doesn't want me to, but this is a video game with balancing. I really can't decide who looks better between him and Kushala. Kushala. But they both definitely look better than Teos. It's Kushala. 100% Kushala is the best looking one of them. Ah. Camellios is the best monster of the three, so he gets an inherent advantage. I mean, he also already is these colors normally. Like, it doesn't really change him as much. Well, he gets all his orange tips and his purple bits. Oh, he's leaving. All right, fine. I will use this opportunity to grab more stuff, but only because we're on one cart and really struggling. Yeah, sounds reasonable enough. All right, Big Ten. <sighs> Let's do this thing. I don't know why I said that. Like, we're about to have some epic music restock montage. <laughs> I can't believe Basil didn't get involved. Right. Yeah. He normally loves being involved. It's like his main thing. Ow. Oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't even get up because there was just a ball being flung at me while I was on the floor. I saw you wire fall up, but I need to get about four feet off the ground and then do the hop up and flop back down dead. Oh, I will give Chameleos and his design credit. I do genuinely lose him. Or still him. give him credit. He's one of your favorite monsters. Why would you not give him credit? No, no, but a lot of the time, invisibility is a gimmick where it's like, okay, yeah, cool, it's invisible, but I still know where he is at all time, like, i.e. Lucent Nagakuga. Yeah. Whereas Chameleos, I den genuinely, like, think he's somewhere and he's not. No, I lose Lucent Nagakuga sometimes. I only didn't when they still left a symbol on the map. That was so funny. <laughs> Yes, give us a basil. Give us a basil. Give us a give us a bee. Oh, give us a he's, cheeky. He's given us. Okay, I, I I guess we'll 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 have to put work in for the basil. Uh -huh. You just annihilated that. Yeah, unfortunately, it was while you were on top of him, so it didn't do much. Did you know that uh, Chameleos is based on a chameleon? I had no idea. Yeah. I don't know what would give you that idea. Well, that's a fun little fact. I'm full of fun little facts for you. I prefer fun big facts, but I guess I'll take what I can get. Like, I can't complain. Did you know Chameleon has a long tongue? Who's Chameleon? A uh, superhero based on a chameleon. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh! Yeah! 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 No! Yeah! Yes! You're in a weird moment right now, I think. <laughs> well, there was a big roller coaster of emotion for that, uh, that strong arm retaliatory strike. Well, I know how you like roller coasters. I do like roller coasters. Ow, that's a cool tongue you've got. Thank you. Did you like how I sung with it? Not you. That's so mean. Like, it's unnecessarily mean. You know what? You are a mean bean. Ha! Ooh. What are you going to do now, huh? Cry? Go on, then. Oh, I did. I'm done. Oh, that was a quick, silent cry. A couple of tears. The cry doesn't have to be risky. <laughs> and emotional like you mean being is just a single rolling tear glistening as you power through the <laughs> yeah it doesn't it's not like a like a vicious someone's died cry it's just, you know it's a bit of a sad moment isn't it just a stiff upper lip and i like how we both walked past that <laughs> and then had a hang on a minute that's useful <laughs>
<laughs> Speaking of things that are useful, I'm going to put him to sleep. So watch, watch yourself here. You know, the worst thing about Intrepid Heart is it makes me think I've iframe rolled things that I haven't. And then I, I look to my right and it's Intrepid Heart is activated. I'm like, oh. Okay. Well, just don't look and then you can feel good about yourself. Let's not do our big poison explosion. Just a pop, you know. He looks so happy. Like, he, did you see that guy? Did you see? I've got a super attack now. Oh, I'm poisoned. Thank you. That's just what I was hoping for in this moment. See, chameleons can look yep. at two things at once because their right. eyes can are independent of you each got other weird, weird freaky eyes yeah that's a bit mean true when the hunter's like it's looking at you on camellios fight multiple hunters should be able to say that at the same time because it's looking at two hunters at once have a wall oh my god he just rammed himself into a wall that's so weird who would do that that's so crazy it's so quirky what a quirky little behavior from a quirky little monster i know right now he's gonna eat fire a full strong arm counter on his tail barrel bombed up Everything did a thousand damage. Like, I mean, it's just absurd. Yeah, his tail's not the weakest spot. Well, it was his tail or nothing. Not that he has a lot of weakest spots. No, it's just his face. He's not made of very weak spots, actually. Is he near me? I can't tell what's happening. Oh my god. I don't know where you are, but I'd say yes, because he's not with me. <laughs> I can't understand! Oh my god, the fucking balls! <laughs> you having a bad time. Well, it's just, he's literally in this tiny cave looking away from me in the air. So I turn the corner thinking I'm safe. And then a ball just comes streaming up behind him. Again! A fucking again! <laughs> you did it twice in a row. I thought it would just be once there. So I started walking and it's the second one. Oh, you, you can't. For once, that's a well-timed health horn, little cat. I'm proud of you. No, don't run away from my big attack. I, I just want to hit him. He turned around and she said that, so, you know. But you made him walk into credit. this tiny little cave. Oh, my God. What is happening? What? This is awful. This is such... Can you get out of that? Can you get out of that tiny cave? <laughs> like, why are you making him fight there? This is not good for us. This is such an awful way to fight this monster. He's not exactly built for tight corridors. Oh. What is happening? Oh, he's behind me now. Just stop fighting him there. Just leave the area. Oh, is he going to do a double? He's going to do a double. Oh, yeah. Uh, is it triple? No, it's a double. Okay. Just walk over here. Just walk into the middle of the water over here. <laughs> Look, man, you just don't understand my high concept battle strategy. Die? Well, so far, no one has done a dead. Does that count as a death? It counts as I'm going to hit him in the head with a strong arm counter. Yeah, I mean, that's fair enough, I guess. No, oh, he got strong. up just as it fucked oh! Just as it fucked. That was gonna do so much damage! Now he's just there with his smug little git face! You can't call him that. Yes, I can. Please don't walk that in front of me. Careful what's happening. Making a big ball. Exploding a big ball. Making small balls come out of the big ball. I need him to stop. Oh, stop dodging me! I just saw him leap away to reveal an SAAD behind him. <laughs> it's just every time it looks like there's a moment to actually hurt him. Oh! Ah! And here come the balls. I swear he wasn't this bad the first time. No, not quite. And we're so much more powerful now. There's some damage. Oh, that's good. That's good. Maybe I'll actually get to hit him. That would be really cool. What a concept. There's the first part. Yay! I got a big... He's asleep. Stop! I can't stop. That's not how that attack works. Twist your wrist! God damn it! I can't twist it that far. Oh, I see an Almadron. This is an opportunity. So does he. He also sees an opportunity. Is, is there is there is there an active wire bug anywhere? No. Okay. Uh, only if you haven't taken it. You well, you know what they say about me. If there's a wire bug, I've taken it. That's fair. They're useful and important. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say it was like anything profound, but you know, that's just that's what they say. Well, I've downed him before. Okay, I didn't down him. He was just doing that attack. It looked like he was falling over. We're gonna put him down. We're gonna land. Nice and gently. We're gonna put a barrel bomb on the ground. We're gonna counter the shit out oh, of I it. Oh, I broke something. I think and I broke his face. we're gonna hit him really hard in the head for 3,300 damage! Excellent! That's a lot of threes. There's actually a lot of threes, isn't it? It's a fair bit of threes. And then we knocked him down again, Cotton! We, we did. did! We did that! Us! Look at us! The humans of the story! The human race is advancing. The human race is taking a big W today. Big W for humans. Oh, but he's not even blue. He's leaving a really weird way to go a very small distance. Thanks, Intrepid Heart. You're welcome. Oh my god. I wish my heart could talk to me. Only if it's Intrepid. Three! 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 I told you there was a lot of threes going on. Oh my god. Holy shit. I'm dead. I don't know how to not die in this situation. I need a remedy. Um, 
I don't know where you are, but I'm gonna grab an herbal powder. Oh, I'm alive! I'm alive! I did it! I did it! I did, did it! That, did that help at all? I managed to just finish a fish, which bought me enough time to have the herbal medicine to not die to the venom. Okay, well, I ate an herbal powder while that was happening, so I don't know if that did anything Why is, for you. What is Basil doing? He's yelling? just yelling at him, and now he's... What sort of mating ritual have we walked in upon? I'm not sure what's occurring currently. Camellios is licking him? I, I don't know how to, how to handle this moment. Oh, he's got health pollen. I'm not sure what that even does for him. Yeah, I don't know what it does for him, but it, it, it feels offensive. Yeah, it feels rude. At least he's blue. Oh, he's blue? Yes. We've been we've been hitting him a lot. I went to go I went I went to go look at him being blue, and then I immediately got hit by a poison ball because I took I I had the audacity to take my eyes off him for the couple seconds it required to confirm blue status. I just hear him just burping. Yeah, in he's the just distance. doing a lot of poison. Like, more than normal. Okay, okay. And now he's going in a cave. If he could stop for a couple seconds, then I would do a big attack on him, but he's just sort of chasing you around a lot. Help me, Slag Top. Slag Top is feeding on Piranha. Well, I mean, that's a pretty effective Slag Top hunting practice. Oh, he's limping! He's just sort of... Oh, he's he's trying to... He's trying... Yeah, he's, he's limping this direction. That was like so... What? That's the zone he was limping to. It was... It was really... oh, that would, that yeah. would be it. Apparently, he was very small. <laughs> Well, that's the smallest size I've had of one of those, apparently. I counted him and killed him with the tippiest tip of his tail. That's good news. I feel good about that news. All I needed was, was some slacked off inspiration. It would oh. That was painful. It was painful, but still not as painful as Teostra. No, he killed us more, but this was more of a, like... Teostra was more of a, you get hit once and you die. This was more of a, oh god, I am in pain the entire time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the three super risen elder dragons tied up neatly in a bow and gifted to death. Thank you. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Or consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good bye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.